Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive channel. Beyonce's mother, Miss Tina Knowles, addresses liking a shady comment about Miss Janet Jackson herself. And I'm gonna get into it, but first I want to thank Lumi for sponsoring this video. Trust me when I tell you this guys, Lumi will be an absolute game changer in your daily personal hygiene routine. Lumi is a whole body deodorant designed by a OBGYN to work not only on armpits, but feet, privates, and everywhere else we get odors. No matter where you use it, Lumi is clinically proven to block odor all day long, all thanks to its one of a kind pH optimized formula. And they got over 275,000 five star reviews to show for it. Since personally trying Lumi, I can tell you this stuff is amazing. I'm really impressed by the wonderful fragrances they offer and they leave you smelling fresh all day long. Make the switch to Lumi and this year will be all about head to toe confidence. Lumi starter pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, and two free products of your choice, such as a mini body wash and deodorant wipes, all with free shipping. As a special offer for new customers, when you go to lumideodorant.com and purchase a Lumi starter pack with promo code IMPRESSIVE, you will get $5 off. This equates to 40% off of your starter pack. Again, go to lumideodorant.com and get $5 off when you purchase a Lumi starter pack when you use the promo code IMPRESSIVE. Now back to the topic at hand. So in my previous video, I actually covered this topic. Beyonce's mother, Tina Knowles, liked a shady comment about Janet Jackson's ticket prices. One of her good friends named Letty actually made a post about it and she shaded Janet for actually charging over two grand for a meet and greet package. And believe it or not, this is actually typical for some artists and Janet Jackson is on a different caliber. She's a legend. So she absolutely has a right to charge two grand. I don't care what anybody says, but just for the record, her standard ticket prices are not two grand. Her ticket prices range from $70 to $600, depending on where she performs. So her prices are pretty affordable if you compare them to how much other artists charge. And like I said in my previous video, she does put on a good show. She does have a good production. So yeah, I think Janet is reasonable with her ticket prices. However, Miss Tina's friend had an issue with it and she said, what a joke. They add a thousand for a 15 second meet and greet again. No front row for fans unless you want to bend over so they could continue to rake in the cash. You want Beyonce prices? Have real production. Just disgusted. I'm not the only one. Oh, the DMs I'm getting? Way to thank your fans for years of support. And Miss Tina liked this post. Also, her friend went on to compare Janet to Beyonce. She pretty much was reducing Janet in favor of Beyonce and saying that Beyonce is worth the money, whereas Janet is not. And then she said, why do people keep trying to call out my friend Tina for liking my post? People on here making comments agreeing with me, but nobody calls them out. So to me, it just seemed very, 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 very messy. And a lot of people had issues with it. In fact, I saw the neighborhood talk make a post about it. And a lot of people were on Janet's side because they were like, wait a minute, how are y'all gonna come for Miss Janet Jackson, the legend herself, the queen of pop herself, and complain about her ticket prices. Her ticket prices aren't even unreasonable. And considering that she has been in the industry for decades and she's put in the work and she cemented herself as a legend, she has a right to charge how much she wants to charge. But Janet is smart enough not to overcharge. Her prices are reasonable enough for her fans to buy and they will come out and support her. Now, once Beyonce's mom, Tina, got caught for liking that shady post about Janet, she did actually come out and address it. And this is what she said. Received a phone call that I'm trending for liking a post about ticket prices and an artist overcharging. First of all, being on the other side of that, I know better than anyone what a great production cost. 
and that it's expensive. And I would never criticize another art artist, let alone Janet Jackson, who is the queen of production. And um, her family, I mean, the first family of music always have been and always will be, and I love and respect them. Uh, secondly, I stay away from negativity. If you follow me, then you know that I am not involved in the mess. So what I am guilty of is liking posts, going through when I'm in a big hurry and I don't have time to really read and liking things because I trust that these are people that I follow. That was a big mistake. I will never do that again. So I just want you to hear it from my mouth that I would absolutely never do that. Now I'm gonna be completely honest here. I don't think Miss Tina liked that post randomly. I don't think it was an accident. I don't think she was unaware of what was said. The post was very much directed at Janet and considering that her friend was the one who criticized Janet and she liked it, lets me know that they're definitely having some unfavorable comments about Miss Janet in their camp, for sure. But Tina got caught, she got put on blast and I believe Beyonce called her up and told her to release this statement and told her to clean this mess up because Beyonce does not want her name associated with this type of foolishness. Now, personally, I do believe Beyonce and Tina have had some talks about Janet behind the scenes because Beyonce and Janet do have a tense history and I did a whole video about it. Beyonce slipped up and said something negative about Janet Jackson's family she tried to make a distinction between how her upbringing was versus how the Jacksons upbringing was. And in her attempt to do that, she ended up putting down the Jacksons. She basically said that her family was upper class and they came from a good background, whereas the Jacksons had to struggle and they basically used their children to get out of a bad situation. Now, I still believe that Beyonce didn't mean any harm by this comment. I think she just wanted to kind of dispel this whole idea that every artist has to struggle coming up in the industry. And I think she also wanted to dismiss the comparisons between her father, Matthew Knowles, and the Jackson's father, Joe Jackson, because the media did try to create parallels between them as well. That's just my opinion on that. I could be wrong, but that's just my opinion. I don't think she meant any harm by it. However, the comment was off-putting. It was extremely off-putting to Janet and she viewed it as disrespectful and I can't blame her. The Jacksons opened doors for Beyonce. If it wasn't for the Jackson 5 and for Janet Jackson and Michael Jackson, Beyonce's group, Destiny's Child, would not be where they are and Beyonce would not be where she is. And she knows this, which is why she has always made it a point to publicly show respect for the Jacksons. Beyonce understands optics as well, and she knows that it isn't wise to speak negatively about a family that has been so influential and loved all over the world. It's a battle that she would never win because people are gonna take the Jackson side every single time. And unfortunately, some people will try to diminish Beyonce, which is something that I don't agree with. Beyonce is a legend in her own right. But like I said, I think Beyonce was probably the one who checked her mother because she doesn't want it getting out that her family has an issue with the Janet Jackson. Now I'm gonna keep it real. I do believe that Miss Tina and Beyonce have had conversations about Miss Janet behind the scenes because Janet has not acknowledged Beyonce ever since she made those off-putting comments about her family. Beyonce has publicly showed her love and I think that was her way of extending an olive branch, but Janet has pretty much paid her dust. And I don't think that sits well with the Knowles camp because they're used to seeing Beyonce get praised and acknowledged by the legends. So I do think they feel a way that Janet is ignoring Beyonce. And mind you, this wasn't always the case. Early in Beyonce's career, Janet has always been supportive, but the tides changed when Beyonce made that comment. And who knows what Janet is privy to behind the scenes. Maybe she heard some other things that she didn't like that really turned her off, but she's not really interested in acknowledging Beyonce ever again, at least until she apologizes, which is a little unfortunate. I do think that it would be a great moment if Beyonce and Janet could clear up any misunderstanding between them. I think that would be a really great moment because I honestly believe that they do have mutual respect for each other as artists. 
They might not like each other personally, but I do believe the respect is there. And if they had a moment to just hash things out, that would be great. Maybe Beyonce can send something. Maybe she could send some flowers and an apology note saying, I'm sorry for making that comment about your family. And I'm sorry that my mama was being so messy. <laughs> But Beyonce is going to have to relinquish some of her pride to do that. And she will have to humble herself before Queen Janet and apologize. But in Beyonce's mind, she is the queen. People bow down to her. Why does she have to bow down to Janet? She already given Janet her flowers. What more does she have to do? So I think Beyonce is at a point where she's not going to overextend herself to try to make Janet like her or acknowledge her but she's also not going to publicly disrespect her either. And she's definitely not going to condone her family doing anything shady either because the backlash was a little too much. It was a little too loud. And that's why she called up her mama and made her get in front of that camera and address everything. That's what I think. I could be wrong, but that's what I think. <laughs> I think Beyonce made that call. But anyway, tell me what y'all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.